Hi folks, I wanted to give you a special edition of Rick's Review so I can go over some things that happened during Valentine Day and why it became known as Valentine's Day or St. Valentine's Day. Claudius Gothicus or Claudius II or also known as Claudius the Cruel was Roman Emperor from 2068 to 2070. During his reign he fought successfully against the Alemanni and decisively defeated the Goths at the Battle of Knossos. Now, he was a pile of shit. He was a terrible person. That's why he was known as the Cruel. And I'll kind of give you a little bit of idea what he did and why he was known as the Cruel. Under the rule of Claudius the Cruel, there were many bloody campaigns, very unpopular bloody campaigns, in Rome at the time, but the the guy had to maintain his reputation of being cruel, right? So he decided that he was going to go ahead and fight these bloody and unpopular wars. And um, when he couldn't maintain a strong army or couldn't have enough ranks to fill his army because people kept dying in these useless and moronic wars, he found out, did a little research and found out the reason why he couldn't maintain soldiers to join his army because most of those soldiers had wives and girlfriends that they didn't want to leave to go off and die in some foreign land. So in order to fix this problem, he decided that he was going to ban marriages and relationships and attachments to family. So when this was found out, the priest Valentine at the time realized it and said, hey, I'm not going to deal with this. He decided to defy Claudius and he was going to go ahead and marry the you know young couples or whatever the case may be at the time well when claudius found out about this he decided he was going to make valentine an example so he decided to to um put him before before the prefect what a prefect is is kind of like what we would say a magistrate or a da the one who decides sentence for you nowadays right so he decided to put him in front of the prefect the prefect decided he wanted to make an example of him as well so the prefect decided that he was going to sentence him to beating to death and then beheading. Well, he did that. He beat him to death and he beheaded him. And this was carried out in the year 270, or around 270 AD. But it was carried out on February the 14th. But a side note, while in jail, Valentine became friends with the jailer's daughter. And he wrote her a farewell note before he was to be carried out to death and he signed it from your valentine thus we see that a lot nowadays especially on those little candies that have been banned this year for whatever reason maybe they're offensive to some people but they say from your valentine right okay well that's kind of where this comes from but the truth is nobody really knows where valentine came from but because legend has it in the Catholic Encyclopedia, Valentine had brought forth a feeling and a change among most people all around the planet. Most people. He was dubbed a saint. This was after his death because of that. So this is why we have Valentine Day today. Or Valentine apostrophe S, yes, meaning belonging to him or his day. So it's Valentine's Day. Now, not to be confused with Valentine Day, because, well, that doesn't exist. But a lot of people call it Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. So in short, Valentine was put to death because he thought that people needed to have relationships and people needed to thrive. And they shouldn't be stifled by some idiot who wants you to join his military and die for causes unknown to anybody else. And were not popular to anybody else at the time or even now. So, Valentine was named Saint posthumously, meaning after death, because of what he did for the people and because of his beliefs. So, I want to wish you and yours a happy Valentine's Day.